With everything going on with crypto bros, NFTs, and stocks as stable as a knitted jumper made out of snakes, I feel now would be a good time to talk about how a railroad built a locomotive entirely to scam investors. In 1887, the Holman Locomotive Company was approached with a bizarre idea for a steam engine. Rather than simply deciding to turn down the idea, they decided to turn what was an awful invention into a genius marketing scheme. The engine they built came to be known as the Holman Locomotive. All it was really is a traditional 440 locomotive balanced on top of some smaller wheels, making it a 6120, not counting the wheels that aren't touching the rails. Nobody really knew what benefits this had, but the intended idea was to speed up the engine. Any engineer or mechanic worth their salt knew this was a stupid idea, and so did the Holman Locomotive Company. Not only was the engine more likely to tip over on tight curves, but the chance chances of the wheels slipping increased dramatically too. So if it was a terrible idea, why did they build it? Simply put, publicity. The engine ran in New Jersey with adverts claiming it to be the design of the future and that many future locomotives would be designed in this way to increase performance. In reality, this was nothing more than a stock market scam, with newspapers in Philadelphia claiming a company had been formed to sell these engines with a capital stock of $10 million, offering to sell the stock for $25 a share with the par value being $100. Soon, investors tangled in the excitement flocked to buy shares for this groundbreaking design that would be the future of railroading, obviously having little to no understanding of basic engineering. The locomotive itself ran for a few months before being withdrawn, likely being removed from its awkward plinth and converted back into a 440. Strangely enough though, another one was built 10 years later by Baldwin in 1897 for the Holman Locomotive Speeding Truck Company. It's unclear as to why it was built, but the most common belief is that it was an attempt on Baldwin's behalf to pull the same scam. The moral of the story here, I suppose, is just because something looks good on paper doesn't mean it will work in practice. But if you can spend a little money on advertising, tangle people up with the hype, and can get some suckers with more money than sense to buy your idea, then you don't have to worry about looking like the idiot. Subscribe for more.